right guys we're out doing a little bit of exploring today and I don't know if you can see it if you look right in the shadows you can see a little bitty snow flurries and in Alabama that's considered snow so how about that it's a little bit cold today but I don't know if y'all can tell what we're looking at but I'll go ahead and start telling you about it we are looking at a Civil War era bridge so this thing is pretty cool guys I've drove by this a thousand times and I've never stopped to look at it and now that I'm down here I'm really just taking in the, the the beauty of it and just the craziness of how long that it's been standing and it's still structurally sound so this bridge is kind of uh, famous here in Alabama or at least in the central Alabama area the name of this bridge is Ross Bridge R-O-S-S -S. and uh, this is named after the Ross family that actually owned the land here in the 1850s. Now a lot of people, if you're a local and you live in Alabama, you know Ross Bridge as a neighborhood. It's a really beautiful neighborhood that surrounds this now. But the history of this bridge goes back till around 1858. And basically Mr. Ross fell in love with the area here and purchased 140 acres hoping that he was going to be able to uh, farm cotton and uh, he was approached by the Confederacy and they asked to actually build a Confederate railroad here so this is actually a Confederate railroad that you see that bank that goes up there is part of the Confederate railroad and they needed to build this railroad so that they could have access for transporting stuff to Selma Alabama and in Selma is where they were doing a lot of the manufacturing for Civil War weapons and a lot of the iron stuff was all built there cannonballs stuff like that which is really pretty neat but the history of this stuff right here is just really amazing to me because to think that this thing has been standing for you know 150 plus years and is still functioning as a bridge today is just crazy to me uh, that saying comes to mind they don't build them like they used to well that's that's really the truth because here in Birmingham they just had to tear down the interstate bridge which is through the main drag and it's only been up about 35 years so it, it just came to the point where it was dilapidated and falling apart yet here this thing is still standing year after year after year it is still standing you can almost picture the old train going right across the top I've got a hawk that is none too happy that I'm here exploring he keeps on uh, letting me know that he's up there in the treetops I can't see him right away but you'll probably hear him in the background there he goes it's a really beautiful area here though now I know what you're thinking you're probably wondering why I don't have my metal detector out and I'm not metal detecting this area because if your brain works like mine does you're thinking oh a Confederate railroad Confederate gold <laughs> and at the same time they probably camped here while they were building that bridge well this is actually a park part of the neighborhood I don't have permission to metal detect here but I would love to I would love to know what history lies in these woods that are surrounding that bridge you can see in the background up there on top of the hill that is a modern railroad and a lot of times the railroads would actually uh, that have been rebuilt now the newer railroads are built on the same path as the older railroads and one of the things that we don't really talk about a whole lot when it comes to bottles is that there are railroad dumps and usually before a train station or a train stop uh, the passenger cars would be emptied out and thrown off of a berm close to the railroad track usually about a mile before or after a railroad station so we've actually stumbled across one of these dumps and it was pretty neat because you could tell where the wagons had uh, dumped the trash through the years and it was just sporadic so 
there were some really good bottles in there too, 1870 stuff. Some of the older stuff that's been found in the state. But, so anytime there's an old railroad track, I like to get out, explore around it a little bit, see what you can find. You never know what you'll find. Plus, just kind of take in the beauty of everything. We're now on the other side of the tracks. It's a little bit deeper on this side. As far as I know, there was never any battles or anything like that here, but a, a bridge of that size took some time to make. And when they were building that railroad, you know that they camped pretty close to the water here. And I can't help but think that there's probably some drop bullets. Uh, there's probably old coins. I don't think that the, there would probably be any uh, belt plates or anything like that, but you never know. But there's got to be some killer stuff around here. But having respect for the law, I know better than to dig here. But I just wanted to show y'all how beautiful this place is. That's one of the things that we don't get to talk about all the time while we're out doing bottle dumps because we're not in the prettiest areas. But Alabama has some beautiful areas. A lot of these places are in, in between rolling hills and dense woods. And here we're right in between, we're in a valley right here where this train trussle is. So it's actually really neat. I hope that y'all enjoyed my, my quick exploration video. Uh, we're going to get out and do some digging. Hopefully have y'all a digging video come out in the next few days. So y'all stay tuned for that.